Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to take a look at the new Rainbow High Costume Ball Rainbow Vision Robin. This one is probably my favorite of this line. I absolutely love this one. So I cannot wait to get her out, go over all of her details. And I definitely know what you guys think. These are starting to pop up in stores. I was able to get this one at my local Walmart. So keep your eyes peeled. They are out there, guys. So let's go ahead and dive into her review. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the box first. Now at Walmart, these are $37.44 uh, down here in Florida. Um, they do not come with anything other than the box and a comb and a stand, and that is it. <laughs> so there's no second outfit or anything like that. But we do get this kind of fun box here as I'm showing you with the artwork on the front, the Rainbow High costume ball logo, meet her in Rainbow Vision. Kind of fun, special edition little uh, seal there course then it says the rainbow vision costume ball is nearly as fierce as the competition itself which school are you for so of course this is rainbow high the shadow high i've only been able to find eliza i've not found any others now of course this is robin and we've seen robin before in the slumber party set and there she is looking just wonderful i love robin she's really really cool and if you'd like to read the little blip there you can pause certainly and of course we have the RH, the Rainbow High, and I love the metallic rainbow like look to these boxes. I think that's really, really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead now, guys. I'm gonna get her out, but I do wanna show you her UPC in case you're looking for her in your area. Make sure to screenshot that, uh, and hopefully they'll come up in your area soon. So I know they are on pre-order on the website right at the moment, so hang tight, guys. Those are supposed to ship. I think the Walmart site said around 10, 11 is when they're supposed to ship, and you never know, they may ship her, uh, sooner. So let's go ahead and get her out. Okay, so I do have Robin out now, so let's take a look at her accessories. We, of course, have the Rainbow High Comb, this beautiful teal with glitter. Love that. We have that same little um, note card, which I'm actually going to open up here because I forgot to take it out of the plastic in case you guys want to do something with the QR code here. Um, that the uh, Eliza came with. This one, of course, is Rainbow High. You're invited. There's the QR code if you would like to scan that, if you can. And then it says scan here for a unique Rainbow High experience. Robin, of course, does come with her stand. So we do have the green rainbow high stand here. If I can get it to focus, there we go. You can see it says rainbow. Um, this, of course, being a rainbow high stand stays together perfectly. Now onto Robin Sterling herself. So we have beautiful blue teal. It's more teal than what my camera's showing, guys. I do apologize. Uh, rooted hair with eight twist braids, four on each side of the head. So um, I will warn you, and you can see, I tried to clean them up as best I could. Um, they were, it was far worse than this. Truthfully, there was flyaways and strays and wispy hair everywhere. Um, but the rooting on it is actually very, very good. So she also has a plastic crown on her head in the shape of a spiderweb diadem, which I think is kind of fun. There's a little spider there. Kind of has like an opal paint to his uh, body there, which I think is a neat touch. Coming down, we of course have Robin's beautiful face mold with her beautiful eyes. I love Robin's eyes. And look at the detail. Look at the spider webs with the glitter on the corners of her eyes. Very, very, very well done by MGI. I love that. And her dark brown um, lip there. Very, very nice. I love the dangling spider earrings. Super cute touch. Her outfit is amazing. Robin's Robin was my favorite of this whole line, so I was really excited to find her in person. Um, she has this embroidered spider webbing over this um, like sheer netting material, and then underneath she has a teal um, like a bustier top, and then a um, a little mini skirt there, which I think is pretty pretty cute. Connected, of course, by this little metallic ring. It is a, uh, a Velcro enclosure, but you can see here there are little uh, metallic straps that go on the back. And you don't really see that from the front. It is only on the back that you see that. So I thought that was kind of fun. Coming to her hands, you can see here she has some dagger claws, which I love. She has some spider webs and little gems on her fingernails. And then, of course, she has some spider rings as well. And that is on both hands, guys. So it's not like they only did it on one. It's on both. Not to forgive my fingers. I've been working tirelessly in our pool lately to get it uh, ready for, you know, not so much a swimming season, more of a shutdown season, but uh, so that's a lot of cleaning and scrubbing and blisters. Um, anyhow, of course, then we have this giant spider web on the bottom more, uh, mermaid portion of her dress. And I love this detail, guys. Look at these spiders. So there's an embroidered spider, spiders with two little pearls to make the head and the body. And then we have another one here on the skirt. He kind of gets lost in the fold. Super, super cute. Um, of course, it's another mermaid style skirt. I know we keep seeing nothing but mermaid style. I think they've made so many mermaid style dresses lately it's getting a little bit redundant um but you know it is what it is i guess uh but of course we have the spider webbing going all around and then throughout you can kind of see here even there's some clear um sequins just to give it that little touch of sparkle 
Coming down then, we do have these really fun lace-up shoes, clear platform uh, bottoms, and then in the heel, you can see in there is embedded is a little spider. So a really fun detail, the MGA stuck in there. Um, I do like that quite a bit. And like I said, even though it's a mermaid style dress, Robin is definitely my favorite from this whole lineup. Um, I cannot wait to see the other two Shadow High dolls. I've not come across them yet. Um, I have one of them on order, the other one I keep missing. So it's like, okay, it is what it is. The Werecat is the one I keep missing. Um, she comes in stock briefly. It seems like at two o'clock in the morning and then gone. <laughs> and I'm asleep usually. So anyhow, but yes, there is Robin from the new Rainbow High costume ball line. Alrighty guys, well, I hope you enjoyed my review of the new Robin Sterling from Rainbow High Costume Ball. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this line. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about the price. I think the price is a bit much. Uh, for getting just a single doll, but the outfits are pretty nice and you do get some fun shoes and you know There's some fun accessories, but still I think 37 44 is just a bit It's a bit much. I think 32 or 29 might not be bad <laughs> but Again, it is what it is. So, but anyhow, definitely let me know what you think down below. If you've been able to find her, let me know what you think of her if you have her in person. Um, hopefully, if you guys are after her, you will be able to get her here um, soon. I know that uh, Walmart, I think they're shipping here very, very soon, like within the next couple of weeks. So, hopefully, everyone who wants her will be able to get her. But anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Hope everyone has an extra magical day, and we will see you real soon.